I run a uh, proteomic center and a multi-imaging cancer research center uh, we, where we use multi-imaging uh, approaches for tissues and look for biomarkers for, in my case, particularly cancer. For the last, I'd say four years, we've been emphasizing more and more looking at these end-linked glycans directly from tissues. Every cell is surrounded by essentially this glycan coat uh, that's in the extracellular matrix. It holds cells together, holds other cell types together. It's a critical feature. And so when we're looking in these tumor tissues, we are essentially looking at the glycocalyx of, of the tumor and everything surrounding it. Glycosylation has roles in um, cell to cell adhesion, cell to cell contact, immune cells binding to, to other cells, uh, particularly in cancer. It's the, it's the glycosylation on the surface recognized by the immune system. Uh, so it's a, these are very important molecules, but have been very difficult to study. The key instrument uh, for many reasons is the, the Solarix 7 Tesla. Fourier transform ion cyclotron resonance uh, mass spectrometer. Uh, it has a multi source, it also has a dual source with a LC component. And that turns out the, the very high resolution uh, instrument that we can see these glycans in, in a uh, very sensitive manner. And so this was, there was, before this method, there was no way to do this in a two dimensional way. Uh, you would have to take the tissue and essentially grind it up and then extract the glycans and look at it that way, but you would lose all the spatial information about where they came from within the tissue. Cancers are very heterogeneous type tissues. There's a lot going on in the tumor microenvironment. And with this method, we can look at all of it. So using looking at the end glycan distribution, we can then link that back to what the pathologist is seeing. We can use these uh, patterns of glycans with the tissue to start making biomarker panels. And then because there's so many tissues available, we can do, keep looking at the same types of tumors or looking at variations on these types of tumors and look across the clinical spectrum. So it's been very productive that way that we can really look at the best samples you can get and try to interpret in a new way that really wasn't possible for this method.